Hey there, YouTube land. And as much as I've seen the uh, some of the 88 film stuff being uh, being shown around, I haven't really seen people uh, reviewing it a lot. So I thought I'd do that today. So uh, tonight I'm going to review the very first uh, slasher classics collection uh, Blu-ray that came out from 88 Films. You can see it playing there in the background. That's the um, the screen for a graduation day. You know, uh, graduation day was one that uh, I had seen a few times, and uh, it wasn't high up on my list of ones that I, uh, in my slash, in my slash list, I got like a list of, uh, basic slashers that I kind of, that are my go-tos. And uh, after watching it again on Blu-ray, I'm really not sure why that is. First off, before we get into the features, I'm going to mention, talk a little bit about the film. The, uh, presentation of the Blu-ray is, uh, phenomenal. Uh, the sound is great. And, uh, it's a solid, solid uh, package put together. Um, 80 Films has done a fantastic job with this film. People have asked me if uh, they've got the uh, if they've got it on DVD or if they've got the uh, the Region One release. Is it worth upgrading to, or is it worth like double dipping on? And uh, I'm going to give you an answer to that actually, and in, in a couple minutes. But uh, first off, I got to talk about the film Graduation. Day. Graduation Day basically starts off with a uh, a girl who's like uh, starts with a bunch of teenagers, and we see this track meet. Uh, this girl is running and can, kind of pushing herself again, like crazy. There's like a a coach that's right, really on her, you know, to go faster to get uh, to get there, and uh, she makes it. She wins, but uh, then she promptly falls down dead from uh, apparently a blood clot, and uh, everybody ends up blaming the coach. This is a you know. Basically, we see like the uh, team getting uh, taken it, the track team getting taken it one by one from a mysterious killer that uses a uh, a stopwatch to to time the deaths and try to do them within 30 seconds. It's a great cast of characters, actually. Uh, Bailey Huffsey from uh, Fame Days for Life. Uh, this is in this one here. We have uh, Vanna White. Uh, Linnea Quigley is in this film, giving perks and nudity, of course. And uh, the main actress' name is Patch McKenzie. Well, I gotta say, he is quite attractive and kicks ass, too. That's another thing. This movie has a screen queen, I guess we want to call it screen queen, that really does kick ass in the film. She's come back from the, uh, from the Navy and to a, a tender sister's funeral. Everybody in this film, by the way, is a uh, is a suspect. Michael Pataki actually plays the uh, principal, and uh, it's kind of kind of comical. If you've ever seen the movie uh, Student Bodies, then this movie here is the primary film that Student Bodies lampoons when it does its uh, when it does its stuff. I mean, you can actually see there's uh, the different characters and the characters that uh, Student Bodies would take from this film right here. So how does this film hold up after all these years? It actually holds up better than it did when I originally saw the film. Uh, the acting was, you know, good for a slasher film. I found the pacing to be really, really well done. And with a couple of actual tense scenes, there was nothing that was going to scare you or anything like that. You know, slashers don't normally, don't normally find them scary, but there were a couple of really cool scenes in here. There was a song about halfway through it that uh, played for a bit called, uh, oh my god, what was that? I can't remember the song right now. Uh, Gangster something. Gangster Runner, I think it was called. And uh, I really, maybe just be me and my a love of like uh, cheesy 80s pop, but I really did dig the song. And it uh, added just another level of like enjoyment to the film itself. Overall, I really enjoyed this film. I, I liked the way that it was paced. I liked the way that it was done. I liked the kills. I thought they were cool. They're inventive. They never got too graphic, and they didn't back in the early 80s. Uh, this one was done in was it, 80s. This one of the 81s. Hmm. Well, I can't see it right now. Let's find out. Let's open it up. Graduation Day was one of those movies that I... Uh, Really, really enjoyed. 
and I don't think I've ever enjoyed graduation day as much as I did right now. I think it's 81, the 81 releases. And uh, around that period of time, the early 80s, 81. It's right on the freaking thing, I wouldn't see it. Uh, 1981. 81 was, was known as being one of the uh, golden years of uh, horror films, of the modern horror film. Uh, the, well, modern in my terms. And uh, it was definitely one of the golden years for slashers. Now, what makes this one worth picking up? Again, what makes this worth double dipping on? Well, one, it's got a very attractive presentation. Case is the beautiful red color. There's the uh, the one on there. And by the way, once you start your move, the uh, which you put this Blu-ray in, the, you actually get the slasher classic collection come up on the screen, and whichever number when you got there, that's the number that pops up. The features are all fantastic. We've got like a brand new 4K restoration, and it really, really shows this. Watching this was like watching it with new eyes. It was completely, you know, a fantastic presentation of the film. There's a ton of features on here, like we got exclusive interviews, intro by Lloyd Kaufman, interview with Lenny Quigley, the Cannibal Lesbian Holy Musical. That's something that, of course, trauma put on there. I apologize for yawning, guys. Uh, it's just getting late here, and I gotta get some sleep. Reversible cover. There's an Collector's booklet with the conversation with uh, graduation day star Patch McKenzie, but this is the reason that it's uh, worth double dipping for. Uh, Scream Queens, horror heroines exposed. I uh, was a little unsure when I turned on the documentary, and Debbie Roshan didn't seem to uh, really capture the flavor of what I thought the host should have. Uh, but as the move, as the uh, documentary progressed, that's a fairly extensively long documentary and really talks about Scream Queens in in a different, unique, and I think a very intelligent way. It, take, it covers all aspects of the Scream Queen. There's like a bunch of uh, people interviewed. you got Daniel Harris being interviewed, Lena Quigley, Michelle Bauer, Milena, Melanie Kinnaman, uh, Melanie Kinnaman, just so many of them. Uh, they talk about like, the different aspects, they talk about misogyny, they talk about uh, Nudity, the the and they take it on from very different angles, but feminism and, and the uh, idea behind uh, the Scream Queen. Really impressed. This goes way. This went way beyond a talking head documentary. So it could have been some kind of just like straightforward kind of just slap together documentary, but it doesn't come across like that. This is their first one. This is their graduation into the uh, slasher classics collection. Uh, and this is the first one I watched. I wanted to watch, try to watch them as in order as I can. Plus, this one was like one that I kind of wanted to see again. I was interested in seeing how this would go. Graduation Day, overall, is a solid, solid package. I think it's something that belongs in everyone's collection. The movie itself, if you're a slasher fan at all, it has all the conventions. Uh, some of it can seem ultra cheesy right now. But you know what? It's not boring. It's paced extremely well. The murder mystery is... I wouldn't say it's the hardest to figure out, but still, it's it's fun and it's well done. The uh, actors that are in the film are, uh, even like the lesser actors, are surrounded by actors that are uh, that would go on to be more seasoned professionals and uh, would go become famous in many different aspects. Uh, and you'd get to see early appearances of the screen queen. It's like an early appearance of Lenny Quigley. You get to see uh, Vanna White here in. Uh, Doing, you know, before she became on Wheel of Fortune, Michael Tacky was already a seasoned character actor. Uh, Christopher George, just such incredibly fantastic actors um, in this film. So, it's a solid package, great features, an excellent documentary that would be worth the price of this movie alone. Beautiful looking, and, uh, Look in the background there. It's kind of cool, kind of cheesy grind I see up there. That's not the quality of the film when you get watching it, by the way. That's just kind of like I'm giving it a kind of an old school feel to it. Graduation is a must buy. 88 films for version, definitely. I would double dip on this. If you're a fan of the film, if you want to see the documentary, uh, get the 88 films 
edition of Graduation Day, it is the one to get. I gotta say, I'm a huge fan, and uh, if all the 80 films are anything at all like Graduation Day, the number one in number one in the 88 films slasher classic collection, then it's worth making sure that this is a collection that you complete. Thanks for watching. Say hello to the pin lord in the sky and his little friend Phantom. And for me right now, I gotta get some sleep. So it's time for uh, my nighttime tea. And uh, guys, Get yourself some Slashy Classics collections. This isn't the first thing that I've gotten from 88 Films. I bought six of these in a bundle from the 88 Films website. Now I'll be 100% honest. It's one of the best buys that I've done in a, in a while. And I eagerly wait to get the rest of them. I have 12 good night. And, uh... After looking at this, I'll be double dipping. It's worth it. Have a great night.